right now in the middle of the year you're feeling as if you need a mid-year reset that vision that you had earlier in the year has been <laughs> washed away down the river all gone and you are having this tendency like you're lacking something you just need to hit that reset button you just need a restart you just need you don't even know what you need right you just need a break you just need to just stop just hit the button right and just have a different life a different vision just a new you a refreshed you a reformed you are you feeling that vibes right now in the mid of the year right now i recently turned 41 in june and i was just sitting and reflecting on my year on my 40 year journey the year of 40 from 40 to 41 and to be honest it has been a wild ride for me it has been one of the most challenging period of life for me there have been so many different events different life happenings and not to mention the perimenopausal onset all the changes that i wasn't expecting they just came hitting me like a ton of a brick all at once and also i had some physical some health scares a cancer scare that i had to do two breast biopsies and i had to do my first surgery to remove one of the lumps from my breast so it was mentally challenging for me and at this time right now i just feel like it's time for a reset it's time for a refresh it's time for a just a whole new mindset so i'm taking you along this journey with me as i journal and i and as i plan for this refresh this mid-year refresh entering 41 right so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to do this together because i know you're feeling the same you are feeling undecisive of what's next what to do you're feeling drained i think it's the the perimenopause or brain fog that's happening to us now if you're experiencing any of this let me know in the comments what are the symptoms you're experiencing because my symptoms they fluctuate and i think that's the main thing that's happening now so the first thing we're going to do we're going to take an assessment of our life take a full assessment take a broad picture to see which area of your life you're feeling most frustrated which area of your life you're not happy with what area of your life do you want to change that might be your career your finances it might be the way you're taking care of yourself your health your fitness goal whatever it might be take that full broad assessment for example if it's your career i recently did a video of different careers that might be suitable for a woman to balance a more work-life balance as we're transitioning into this midlife era in our life right so you might have been for like for example for myself i've been nursing for almost 20 years and i felt the need for a career transition a career that will give me more freedom and more flexibility to enjoy the life that i've built so if you're feeling that similar vibe that similar way that you're tired you're burnt out because nursing can be a stressful career a career that really burn you out right so if you are a professional in the healthcare industry you might be feeling this way so assess and see what what's the main problem and you get to the root of the problem now step two we're going to handle that problem handling that problem might looks like again exploring different career options if career is if it's if it's your career is the problem if your finances are the problem you are in debt you find yourself in credit card debt which like right now like almost everybody is in debt because of how the economy is going right now right so you find yourself constantly in overdraft you can't afford to do things that you once could have you know afford doing you're at the time where you need a getaway you need a break and you're not able to afford a vacation right so this might now handling the problem now might look like finding another stream of income starting a side business finding another job a part-time job which for me 
I, <laughs> that part I don't really like because I prefer to be at home with my family. But that other part-time job can be a second career, a second side business. Like for example, myself, I work full-time as a registered nurse and my transitional career, my part-time job is to be a realtor here in Canada, right? So that can be something else you can look into. So that's how you would be able to handle that problem. That's how we're going to hit that reset button and that restart button, right? Number three, we're going to create the roadmap to our success. What does success look like in the next six months? Where do you see yourself in the next six months? How would life be better for you in the next six months? Now, when you visualize that, you know, you're going to write down the goals. How are you going to get there? Create that roadmap. Write it down, the steps that you're going to take. So if it's the plan, handling the problem as we just did is to start a side business. Now you're going to put down the steps of how you're going to start that side business. And if you are not sure of how specifically to do that, I've created a video for you to break down how to start a side hustle while you're working a full-time nine to five job. So I'll leave it right here for you to go and check it out after watching this video. So after you've created your unique roadmap of getting there, then the next thing you're going to do is to implement some coping strategies in order to prepare for those roadblocks. <laughs> and what might be those roadblocks? Those roadblocks might be when those perimenopausal symptoms start. That brain fog, that irritability, that tiredness, that sleep insomnia you can't sleep well at night what are you going to use to overcome when you're having these these perimenopausal symptoms that are signs that, that are distracting you from getting to your end goal how are you going to overcome these are you going to use affirmations are you going to use bible scriptures so what are you going to use to cope to get over these roadblocks when they arise, right? When the negative thoughts, the imposter syndrome, and all those things start to get into your head that you're too old, <laughs> right? For, is 40 old? Let me know in the comments. But you're going to feel as if, you know what, you're too old to change, to start a new career. No, you're not. You can restart any time in your life as you feel. You can restart at 50, at 60, whatever age, you can hit that restart button and start a new chapter. So be prepared with coping strategies when those imposter symptoms, syndromes, start popping into your head and telling you that you, can, you can't. You can, you can lose that belly fat. <laughs> You can start that new fitness regime. You can start eating healthier. You can start that exercise plan. You can do it. I believe in you. And next, this is my, one of my favorite ones to do, and it is to visit rest stops along the journey. Now, while you're on this new reset journey within the six months, you have to pause for breaks. Don't try to feel as if you can run the whole marathon without taking a stop, taking a break, doing the things that you enjoy doing. If not, you're going to be burned out and you're going to go right back to square one. As my, my background is in, my specialty is mental health nursing. So when it comes on to mental wellness, I put this at the forefront of everything I do. So you have to know your peak limits. You have to know the warning signs. You have to know when you're, when you're, basket is full when you can't handle anymore and you're going to say you know what stop pause stick up in i need to go do something to fill my cup if that means setting time to go to bed if that means going out for a walk reading a book whatever it is that fills your cup that refuels you you have to stop pause and pause at that pause at that rest stop to go and fill your cup Got it? Let me know if that makes sense. Type in the comments. Make so lastly, sense. Lastly, after you do all these steps, lastly, you're going to embrace these changes with confidence. With what? Confidence. Yes. 
please type it in the comments so I know that you understand that you are with me. Confidence. You're going to embrace this new journey with confidence. So whatever steps you wrote down to get to that roadmap of success, you're going to start off with confidence. If you're feeling defeated, if you are feeling as if you can't do this, that's when the coping strategies will come in. So whether you're going to affirm yourself, whether you're going to stick it on your wall, on your glass, whether you're going to journal or whether you're going to use your scripture reading to remind you that you can do this through Christ who strengthens you, you are going to embrace it with confidence and you're going to go through this next six months confidently going after your dreams and going after your goals. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end and let me know how you're coping so far and what the end goal will be. And if you have not yet subscribed to this thriving community, if you didn't notice, we just spelled out thrive with these six steps. We're thriving. So I would invite for you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Hit the notification bell also so you can be a part of this thriving family. See you in my next video. Bye for now.